What's up, everyone? Come on in. Hey, you and I get to sit down and just really go over your goals and find out what is getting in the way of trying to reach your goals, especially if you're looking to sculpt and tone and you're seeing that that weight is just kind of fluctuating back and forth. What an exhausting experience, right? So welcome in. So my name is Coach Danita. What's up, everyone? Hey. And I am from Southern Utah. I originally lived out, um, originally from Utah, and then I moved to California, and now I'm back in Utah. Booty Bands and Barbells helps busy women sculpt and tone their bodies in just 15 minutes a day through our physical products and our one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you haven't seen this before, it's Toss the Scale, and what a great one to always kind of reflect on and kind of just find out a little bit more about you. So first I wanna know, what is your goal? Is it weight loss or is it fat loss? So right now, just find that comment button down below, and I want you to tell me, what are your goals? Do you wanna lose 10 pounds, 15, 30 plus? Are you looking to have more energy? Are you wanting to sculpt and tone? Is it a bikini you're trying to get into? Or is it just a confidence, like a feeling of just that utmost confidence that when you're going throughout your life that it's creating a ripple effect in all those other areas? You let me know. So find that comment button to, together. For me, I'll tell you about a decade for me. Mine was, I focused on a number. I remember, um, I don't know where I got the number from. Maybe I just kind of saw, uh, maybe it was my younger self. No, I was already kind of young when I started like dieting. So you know what? It might have just been that I like saw a girl. She told me her weight. It was like 120s. And I was like, oh man, if I'm in my 120s, I'll look like her. So I, I, I correlated that a number on a scale was going to get me to look like a certain body type. Pretty interesting how our thoughts go in that direction. A lot of times too, is we have a certain weight that we are at in our younger years that we really liked. And so as we get older, we want to go back and gravitate towards that number. Let's find out a little bit more about those goals. Always interesting, right? For me, it was definitely a number on the scale, but let's go ahead and dive into it a little more. So weight loss, we know that you're looking to be this certain number on a scale. So that's why we're kind of going, I want 10 pounds off, 15, 60 pounds, whatever it is. We're kind of saying like that number on the scale. All right. We also, I mean, that, that what that kind of means is you want to be light when someone picks you up. That's really kind of what weight loss is about is just the generality of weight in general as a whole. So that's like fat, water, muscle, all makeup, just that you're just this light person. Okay. The other part of it is obviously you're okay to be soft skinny because with weight loss, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but there's been some quite a few uh, pills that have been coming out in the industry about suppressing the appetite and, um, uh, really intense quick fixes to weight loss. So obviously you can lose weight with these pills, right? However, there's been some side effects. Uh, some of the side effects have been your gastrointestinal as having a lot of irritability issues going on within the gut and also because of the extreme changes. Also, the other thing is people are coming drastically to me saying, oh my gosh, my butt is gone. Well, yeah, you lost a lot of weight. Where do you think that weight came from? <laughs> So we got to be really careful when we say weight loss, right? Um, weight loss, we actually see that there will be a little bit more of a less energy, a little bit less control when we are in weight loss. And ac weight just in general is not an accurate measure of health. So it is more of an outdated, um, if, if you haven't seen yet, doctors are starting to transition. If your doctor hasn't, if your doctor still is telling you to eat less, move more, I would say you probably have an outdated doctor. Um, so let's learn what fat loss is. All right. So the weight loss industry is vastly changing. If you guys haven't noticed, look at, look at all social media and see how women's fitness is drastically changing. If you're not seeing it now, you're going to start seeing it because weight loss doesn't work. Let's go into fat loss and find out a little bit more about it. Um, so you want to be more toned, defined and sculpted. You want to become stronger. You want your clothes to fit better. You're ready for more energy, more control over just your weight in general, that maintenance feel, you have more control over that and how you look and feel. Now you can want to lose weight, but let's get even get more specific because if we're not specific with our goals, we could lose weight, but then also be losing our booty too. And gut health and all sorts of issues can start to come about just losing weight. It's not really, for me, decade of trying to lose weight and having that cycle of up and down and that loss of control and then just really looking at my body and I was very soft skinny and I couldn't really fit my jeans on very good. Ugh. Really, that's when I kind of shifted my idea and I, I got a coach and was able to find a different way. So, um, so let me ask you then, was there anything that you learned right there about the difference in any of my weight loss girls that had said weight loss 
Do you have a different switch? Can we say you want to lose 10 pounds of fat? So it's fat loss of 10, or maybe we can even start thinking about inches. I'd like to lose maybe five inches around my waist. Awesome, because what that's gonna be doing is thinking of more of a fat loss rather than just an overall general number of we don't really know where that weight's coming from, all right? All right, so what do we ultimately know is that weight loss and fat loss actually clash. They are truly opposite goals. I know that sounds so crazy because we use them generally always in the same type of conversation. We always hear weight loss and fat loss, or we don't really hear fat loss very often. So that's why um, I obviously do these. So we become more educated because when we become more educated, we become more detailed and we start to get our goals a lot faster and sustainable, especially if you're over the age of 30 or 40, we wanna start really getting to our goals a lot better because we got time against us at this point. Okay, so let's find out why they are different. All right, so weight loss, we've been told to eat less, move more. We've always been taught of counting calories. I don't know if you guys have tried other programs out there of Jenny Craig or counting points or just kind of focusing on just this energy expenditure of trying to lose weight. Counting daily steps, a lot of counting, right? Weighing yourself, counting, skipping meals, restrictive fad diets, the yo-yo, the weight water, the fat storage mode, cravings, the starve and binge, lack of confidence, hiding in photos, lack of knowledge, lack of energy. Hormones will get out of whack when you just think of weight loss. A lot of issues are going to happen there when you're doing that. And there's a loss of strength as well in weight loss. You think you'll become stronger. The answer is no. Even if you're doing a bunch of cardio, you can actually lose your strength. So if you can relate to that whole left side, raise your hand. Comment a little section down below. Yeah, (laughs) I've been there. I think every single one of those hit me to the core. I did all of those. And on repeat for 10 years. Pretty brutal. All right, so let's go over to fat loss. Why is the opposite? Why are they different? I told you they clash, but let's really actually see. So fat loss, eat more. That's the most traumatizing experience for a woman that's been stuck in the weight loss world is thinking she needs to eat more. Happened to me. As soon as my coach told me to eat more, I literally like panicked. I was like, no, 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 (laughs) that's not what I've been taught. So there's a lot of unlearning of the old stuff going into the new stuff, all right? So we've, we're learning more about macros instead of calories. We're gonna focus on using resistance rather than counting our daily steps. We're gonna be focusing on our inches lost, not our weight. Our clothes will fit better, I will guarantee that. Becoming more planned, you're gonna have more control. We're gonna have less cravings, why? Because you're eating and fueling your body. Why? Because of that, now you're gonna have more energy. Now with more energy, wow, shoot. It's gonna feel like more of a freedom feel, isn't it? So when we got improved sleep and confidence, self-image, strength goes up, hormones are improved, concentration, bone density. Now I'm gonna be really vulnerable and honest with you guys. I fell into strength training. And the reason why I fell into it is because osteoporosis runs really high in my family and I was really scared of it. And so I was researching it probably about in my 20s. I was researching about how I can actually strengthen my bones so I'm not completely crippled by the age of 50 or 60 like my aunts are right now. And so I started lifting weights and I didn't realize the impact that was gonna make on my life a little older. So, pretty cool, huh? All right, so um, let's dive into the next part here. I've got a couple questions. How many of you have experienced any of this confusion? Comment down below. Which one hit you the most? Maybe it was a diet that you were following. Maybe it was keto. Maybe it was a a sugar-free, fat-free. For me, you know what I did that was so messed up? I'm totally being honest with you right now, is I was doing those appetite suppressant pills on top of fat burning pills. And then I also even went after those, um, have you ever heard of smooth move teas? I would eat something like gorge and binge and stuff. And then what I would do is go hurry up and drink a laxative tea to push it out of my body, thinking that it wouldn't attach if I just pushed it out of my body. My gut, (laughs) my body, my stomach having to go through that madness for almost a decade. I've mentioned multiple times Biggest Loser on here before about that show that was on uh, NBC. I think it was ABC, I think is where it was. Um, I was shocked to see that that show was canceled. More shocked that it wasn't the celebrity fitness trainer, but it was the contestants that canceled the show. 
because weight, they're proving that weight loss is slowing down your metabolism. And that's why we're gaining the weight back this whole time. Bing! Little aha moment there for me. That was a really big. I think Jenny Craig, I think, is shutting their doors too. I don't know if you guys have seen that recently too. But yeah, a lot of, a lot of stuff going on in the weight loss industry that's been really impactful for, for uh, females in general. So weight loss. Why it doesn't work. Okay, so after the age of 30, we're losing our muscle mass. So well, that's important. So we'll go into that in a moment. But 95% of people are unsuccessful with their weight loss journeys and they end up gaining the weight back plus more. That's sad. That's a really sad statistic right there. Next is um, we actually see that weight loss is slowing down your metabolism. Um, and the weight loss industry, you guys, $80 billion with a very low success rate that has women stuck shrinking themselves physically and emotionally for life. Wow, I relate to that one. So what we see is this trend here, eating less, moving more, jumping on the newest trends, counting calories, weighing yourself, skipping meals, the outcome, you're not seeing results, we have a lack of energy, we're stressed and overwhelmed, confused about nutrition, lost motivation, not consistent, not having a total understanding of our food and our workouts. Makes a lot of sense, right? Doesn't make sense when we're in it, but now as we kind of look at it, we're like, wow, this has been a, this has been a downward spiral. Okay, so my question I have for you then is, we all know metabolism is slowing down as we age. We know that. So let me ask you guys right now, what age did you start noticing it for you? What age did you start noticing things were starting to become different? And let me know what you saw or noticed. Was it loss of strength? Can't eat the same thing as you used to in your 20s? Um... Fat, the stomach, the belly pudge area was harder to lose. Uh, energy maybe lost. So let me know what age and what were some of the side effects you noticed as far as that metabolism going down as we age? What was the shift? I mean, there's kind of like a weird, pivotal moment, I feel like. And sometimes it's not even a moment. Sometimes it can be like, um, sometimes it can even be uh, events that happen in our life that can have a big effect too. So let's get real with each other. So we know metabolism is going down as we age. We all know that, right? So my question I have for you guys, is it possible that we can speed the metabolism up even though we're aging? So we know metabolism is going down, but is it possible to reverse that? Let me know your answer down below. And just be honest with yourself. Be honest with me. Time to be honest. So let's actually find out how, okay? So if the metabolism's going down as we age, we think we can speed it back up, but what is the metabolism in our body that directly has the effect to either slow it down or speed it up? What's that answer? What is in our body that we have control over that has the ability to either slow our metabolism down or speed it up? This answer is very profound. Now, a lot of you are really smart and you've been in this community for quite some time. So I'm going to give you a big shout out for all you smarties out there. They're going to get this answer. But for those that are listening right now that don't know this answer, do you think that that might be the reason why you're struggling? Was well, for me. I didn't know. When I didn't know really what the metabolism is and what control we really had over it, I was so lost I truly just thought it was like starving myself and eating as little as possible. And I thought I was going to get sculpted and toned. <laughs> I was thinking I was going to get sculpted and toned by doing that. Woo, was I wrong? Well, maybe I could lose weight, but man, my body did not look good in a pair of jeans. I'll tell you that. A common answer is I've heard what they think the metabolism is. I've heard hormones, yes. I've heard things like uh, thyroid. I've heard cells. I've heard uh, all sorts of interesting, interesting things. I, I can't even, uh, I mean, organs. Uh, I've, heard, um, I've heard all sorts of things. So hormones, yes, can have a direct correlation, but even more impactful than hormones, you guys, is muscle. So think about that for a moment. If that's not an aha moment right now, I'm going to actually go into a little bit more of an aha moment for you right now. So that way we can really see what the hell has been going on. All right. 
What is happening with our bodies, you guys, is look at this graph. This is true. This is real. This is fun facts right here in this moment. We are losing about 3 to 5% of our lean muscle mass every decade. However, do you know the average age when a woman starts to diet? What is the average age a woman starts to diet? What age do you think that is? So the average age is about 10 years old, you guys. Isn't that the saddest thing? So what's happening, you guys, is when we start dieting as women, what we're doing and we've been miseducated is we have been cutting down every calorie when we diet. We're not just being specific. We've been cutting down all calories because we haven't really known how to do it correctly. So we've been skipping meals to think we're fast tracking our results. But what that's been leaving us with is actually protein deficiency. Now, what do you think that's doing to our lean muscle mass every decade? Okay, let's go into a little bit further here. For those that are running to the treadmills or they're thinking that counting their steps or just Going on a bicycle ride is the way to get sculpted and toned. Let's think about that for a moment. When excessive cardio comes into play, when any cardio in general, do you really, do you think you really have the ability to choose if that energy is coming from muscle or fat? So do you think that excessive cardio actually can be burning possibly both? And if we're burning that muscle, now we are protein deficient, We've been burning that muscle through cardio, and now we've been losing it just because of our age. And if muscle is directly correlated to the speeding up of our metabolism, is it now having an aha moment right now of why it hasn't been working? But they're going to continue to keep putting out fat burning pills. And they're going to continue to keep putting appetite suppressants out there. So we continue to eat less? Is that fixing the problem? Because I'll tell you right now, you and I know we've starved ourselves, and if it would have worked, it would have worked, but it hasn't worked, and that's why we're here. <laughs> so we've got to change. If we're looking for change and we keep doing the same thing over and over again, it's time to change, right? So here are so many different attributes on your guys' muscle. Let's get real serious about it. If you're drinking excessive amounts of alcohol, do you think that can be tearing down your muscle mass? You bet your booty. Do you think that if you're doing a bunch of steady state cardio, you bet your booty. Do you think that if you are living underneath a lot of stress and cortisol in your day, that that can be actually catabolic to your muscle mass, which is also hurting your metabolism? You bet your booty. Do you think if you've been sedentary, you're sitting at that job day in, day out, and you're so tired and you don't know how to lift weights. You think that could be catabolic to your muscle? You bet your booty. You don't, you don't use it, you lose it. What about if you're not getting correct amounts of sleep? Did you know that we build muscle in our deepest sleep? So if we're not getting enough of sleep, wow. And we're working out so hard to try to get those results, but we're not seeming to get those results starting to make sense. If you've been dieting and you've been focusing on just cutting everything rather than being very specific about the amount of macros you're supposed to have, it's all starting to add up, isn't it? So is it possible we can reverse the metabolism, you guys? I need to know right now. Is it possible? Is it freaking possible to do this? Man, I almost lost so much hope. We can speed our metabolism back. Let's go and fight for it. I don't care how old you are. You ain't too old. You ain't too old because you know what? All of us that are still alive can build back muscle. And that lean muscle can bring us back to our 20-year-old fat-burning machine. And I'll prove it to you. It's definitely possible. You got it. So why are we different? Obviously, you can see that with other programs, you guys, sure, start those other programs, lose the weight. They say you can lose 10 pounds in one week. Cool. Do it. But you know what? You're going to find booty bands and barbells because after doing that so many times, you're going to get fed up. You're going to see the trajectory of your mindset starting to go down because it's not going to be fun anymore. It's going to start to beat you up like it beat me up, man. That was tough. Starting and stopping all the time. 
You start to just think you're a failure at everything you do. You start to even say that it's your genetics or your age. You start to use all these excuses, but the thing is, is it hasn't been you this entire time. It's been this weight loss industry that's been $80 billion full of information that's been slowing down our metabolism. You know what's time is for us to wake up. Just like the biggest loser, the contestants shut it down. I'm ready to shut down weight loss programs. Are you guys ready to do it with me? Raise your hand. Let's go. You guys ready to do this with me? You ready to take on this whole beautiful side of women's fitness and how we can show women how to really live their confident self? Absolutely. So what we see is an incline of three parts. Nutrition, workouts, and mindset. We're built on three pillars. We have a foundation in our business. And if you haven't seen it yet, girl, you're going to see it. It's an uplifting, supportive community of real women. Nothing's been photoshopped in this community. And you know what? We started slow to build our foundation, but I watch our skyrocketing now. We have over a hundred people in our accountability program that are not only having drastic transformations in their body, but they are an absolute different person. I have a woman today that just said, I found peace and joy and happiness for the first time in 40 years. I cried. I cried to see what this really is doing for women. Isn't that the most beautiful thing ever? All right, so where do we start, you guys? So um, if you guys are ready, if you're ready to stay, I'm in. I'm in for this transformation. But here's the thing. You have to know that you're worthy, though. You have to know that right now you deserve your confident self. You know this program will work for you, but the real answer is will you work for this program? Now, if you have a commitment level right now, if you can look at me right now, I have a commitment level of a 10, I want you to write I'm in down below. So that way I can have a coach reach out to you personally and see ways that she can help you get to your goals because you know that you're worth it. You know that it's proven, you know that it works, but let's just do it the right way. A lot of women don't invest in themselves because they don't think they're worthy. They think they're gonna fail another program. They think that program is gonna either fail them or they can't do it because of all the programs they freaking have tried, right? How beautiful is to know that you have a foundation of a business here that's run by real women with real results and drastically changing their lives. And if you haven't seen it, please go check out the Booty Bands and Barbells More Than Fitness podcast where these women that are graduating the program are coming on these podcasts. A first time ever they've ever done a podcast in their life. And they are announcing their transformation because of you. Because they believe in you. So if you don't believe in yourself, you listen to those testimonials of these women that are coming through and saying, you know what? If I can do it, I know you can do it. But it's hard, right? We've been putting everybody else ahead of us. We're caregivers. We're nurturers. We've given up so much on ourselves. But truly, if we really start to put ourselves as the number one priority in our life, can you imagine the ripple effect that this is going to do to you? Right? Can you imagine? So I do have some coaches that are going to reach out. Yep, Valerie's one of them, and you're going you're gonna to get Monica as well. And we're going to see if you're a good fit for it. All right? So it's absolutely beautiful. And I'm also going to pull up a couple of the transformations that have just graduated just this month. We'll be pulling up some transformational. Um, uh, these women are actually in the Booty Bands and Barbells community. You can meet them directly. Um, these women also, like I mentioned, are on podcasts. They come on their first time podcast ever in their life, but they're willing to do it. That scared feeling that they're willing to do it because they're willing, they believe in it. They know that if they can do it, they know you can do it. Not such a cool feeling. Okay, so let's pull it up. I don't know if you guys were able to see. Um, we had two graduates this month. This is really cool. What's um what's cool is you'll get a certificate at the very end, and it will show you. We actually will rate your mindset where it's at now, and at the end of the program, we'll rate it again to see where you're at. It's pretty freaking cool. My computer is just thinking about itself right now. Um, the other place to go to is I've been blogging these amazing. Uh, 
transformations in the Facebook group. So there's a section that's called guides and it's under the booty bands wall of fame. The program, the one-on-one -on -one accountability is six months. Um, this is guaranteed to be the last program that you ever need because we will focus on sustainability on all three areas. We will make you an expert. So you will be getting information as far as everything, what a certified personal trainer, a national qualified bikini competitor, and somebody that's actually gone through a transformation. So real women, real results to actually get that expert knowledge. So that's how long the one-on-one the -on -one is. And the workouts, yes, are 15 minutes a day. Once you've, um, what we'll do is we actually, in the program, we'll actually monitor your muscle mass percentage. And if your muscle mass percentage is still going up at 15 minutes a day, we can keep you there. If it's not, then we're gonna make some adjustments to your nutrition and your workouts to make sure that you're still in, in progress. So your coach will be able to do that. How much is the equipment? Um, so the equipment ranges anywhere from bands to barbells to dumbbells to long bands to protein powders. And so in order to find the price on those, I want you to look up bootybands.com. I'll have somebody reach out to you too so that you can, uh, if, uh, depending on what equipment you need and how we can help you there, but um, all sorts of fun stuff as far as the cute home gym stuff. Um, so what I would like to know by having a coach reach out to you specifically is finding out what are you currently doing then. I want to know how much you're eating, how much protein's in there, what you're doing for your workouts, how much you're lifting, what is an upper body day lift versus a lower body day lift. I just want to kind of have a lot of questions for you there. So let's go to, I don't know if you guys were able to see Larissa. So Larissa just graduated. Huge shout out to Larissa if she's watching right now. Larissa had a phenomenal transformation. Her biggest struggle was not necessarily losing weight, but her struggle was getting a booty. And so um, what we did in the program is teach her techniques about the four different types of training techniques and what she found of what she was doing incorrect. So when we are constantly looking for that type of endurance type of training where we're just focusing on those really high reps and really low weight, we could be focusing just more on that rather than the main goal that we want of sculpting and toning our bodies, right? Um, but really cool transformation photo. We're up all about shrinking that waist and growing the booty. Um, we are definitely more about that hourglass look. So we're not a weight loss company. So keep that in mind. Weight loss, again, you're losing three things. Actually, four things. Water, fat, muscle, and our sanity. <laughs> That's the other one. But lots of love. You guys have an amazing rest of your night. Keep it going. Keep this community, you guys, as a community it is. Empowering, supportive, genuine, authentic. Keep that going and you're part of it. Lots of love. Have an amazing rest of your night, okay? Bye, y'all. So I have really never stuck with anything for more than six months until I found Booty Bands Barbells. It's life-changing. The progress over perfection mindset has been so life-changing. You have self-love and to have self-worth. I just do the 10 minutes and I'm already reaping the benefits. The workouts are fun and that they're effective. I have seen great results that I never thought I'd ever see. I love it because I'm keeping the weight off. We help hold each other accountable as they commit to our goals. Booty bands and barbells has really changed my life for the better. I have to be real with you. The past six months really took a toll on me and my body. I felt incredibly stressed, isolated. After being a good 12 to 13 pounds heavier, I said that's it, I'm gonna make healthy choices. And I'm happy to tell you today that I am actually down 15 pounds. I feel amazing. I feel like I lost fat and put on muscle. I have a lot more energy. So it's never too late to start. You can take control again. Thanks, Booty Band Nation. Positive that you will get more sculpted, more toned, and you're gonna love those new healthy changes and our community and our coaches. From where you're at, no matter where you are, or how long you've been in the position. So just click the button below to book the call with our team.